It was really important from the beginning to have a live show, not to be a producer with a computer that uh, like press play and uh, everything happens. We are musicians and we play and we want to transition the, the, the creation like this and give the crowd uh, a performance. You can actually feel a different vibe when you look at the audience that come to a show when they see the band play physically on instruments even though it's an electronic vibe it gives so much energy to the crowd and you you see them react differently than they would react to a show with just one guy in a computer you know Tel Aviv is a good place, but you know we have like one of the best scenes in the world. We just, the people of the world didn't discover it. So many good DJs, so many good musicians. You know, people know music here. They know the records, they know history. I think something that will never like let go, it's the Middle East Tel Aviv vibe that we always want and try to keep in our music because it's important to know where you come from. Because if you forget where you come from, you're nothing, you know? Always know your history, always know your, the place that you were born in and your culture. Because it doesn't matter where you go, it sticks with you. Instead of fighting it, embrace it and take the good things out of it. If you're smart, keep your ear about stuff that come from Tel Aviv. Because we'll soon take over the world, you know? <laughs> would move on straight from the start because I thought that like getting 20k listens on SoundCloud will be nice and then it just jumped 10k each day I remember the day that I was like waiting for the review in Pitchfork I was DJing the same night and I remember that at like at 11 or 12 and I was refreshing the phone refresh 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 I was just waiting for it to happen because there aren't many Israelis or indie bands at all in the world that like getting, you know, a Pitchfork review on their first single. And then like it popped up on my iPhone and I was like, I was screaming, you know, in the middle of the bar and ne <laughs> nobody knew what I wanted, you know, but I said, okay, it's good. that's a good start. <laughs> After creating the two EPs, we thought about creating our first album, but then the call from Vinyl Factory happened and we decided we can't pass this opportunity. So we just like got into the studio and we just created this EP. We are true vinyl diggers, you know? So putting out your albums in a digital way, it's nice, but it's not enough for us. We're into like, Holding your art in two hands, something so important. Putting up vinyls on the best vinyl factory in the world.
so thankful that Roy and Joe came and asked me to, to work with them because I had the opportunity to create music. And now I think that everyone should at least once in their life try to create something because it's an amazing feeling. In 10 years, hopefully making music together and not bitter about everything, you know? Creative people tend to become bitter over the years. And I just want to be happy and create music with my friends, you know?